Chris 6 weather forecast. Hey there, good morning to you. We are looking at our Weather Watcher Wednesday photo from last week. It is Weather Watcher Wednesday after all, and here is the view that Lisa shared with us in our Coastal Bend Weather Watchers group. A very foggy start to the morning here as we were making our way uh, on into last week. It was a very foggy start each day of the week, so and now it looks like uh, we've got a different story this morning. I want to show you one of our sky cams, if Director David can pop that up for us real quick and show you that it is a hazy start here. That's what we can see from our camera at Snoopy's, but it's not impacting the drive over the JFK Causeway, so that is a good start for us this morning. So we've got another weather watcher we're going to choose for this Wednesday coming out. Look for that on our Facebook page, and I'll be sure to share it with you tomorrow morning. But right now, Let's talk about the visibility since we've got that top of mind. It is very humid out there, but visibility not too bad across the board. We're down to seven miles of visibility in Rockport and Port A, eight at NAS Corpus Christi. Everyone else, perfect tens. So no trouble out there on account of the visibility. And that is thanks to the fact that we have movement in the wind. We don't allow all that moisture to kind of settle into fog. It's just some haziness that we're seeing around the area because things are shaking and moving quite literally. But that wind direction is what's bringing us all that mugginess coming in generally on shore with a south or south southeast wind across the coastal bend. And we're going to see those winds really pick up today. Disrespectful winds coming back to the forecast for this afternoon. We see sustained winds between 20 and 25 miles per hour, say 4, 5, 6 p.m. And even through tonight, we're going to keep that wind elevated. But that south wind is going to make for another warm morning here across the coastal bend. So. How warm are we talking? Well, with today as reference, we're already sitting in the neighborhood of 70 degrees across most of our neighborhoods, and this is pretty warm. Our average high across the coastal bend tends to sit in the middle 70s, and we're not far off from that, so you could tell today is going to be another warm one here. But between now and this afternoon, what are we looking at? For that, we turn to the dog walking forecast, and our start today is Louie. We love to uh, get out there and enjoy some of the sunshine, and we will have some peaks of sunshine despite a cloudy start here in the coastal bend. We start to shake some of those clouds by the late morning hours, and that's when our temperatures will really start to skyrocket about 80 degrees by noon, and we keep the breeze going from the south about 15 miles per hour again increasing into the afternoon but that pesky wind direction is going to keep the humidity on the rise muggy meter shows that we will be in that very humid category by later today and on into the rest of this week it's not until a cold front comes to bring us some cooler drier air that we really start to see things drying out and it'll take until the beginning of next week for us to really feel some of those impacts so looking back on March so far, we've had a lot of warm days noted here by the red squares. We have not had rainfall recorded at CCIA during the month of March. And while we're still in a surplus, it's problematic. We need some rainfall. Now, we won't have any in the forecast for today. Things looking warm and dry, especially for the inland neighborhoods west of 77. We're looking at some 90s this afternoon. Meanwhile, those closer to the coast will hang out in the 80s and eventually sink back down to the 70s for the start of tomorrow morning. I don't think we see any rain, just a little bit of mist with all that mugginess out there tomorrow morning. But our rain chances look really good for this weekend, especially as we go into Saturday evening. These are scattered showers at best. We'll keep an eye on the rainfall forecast, but here's a look at that seven day forecast, and we're happy that we do have rain in it. We'll stay in the 80s through the rest of this week. A cold front takes its time to bring us the cool down that looks to arrive next week.